Hello everyone and welcome to my new tutorial on the new best OBS settings. Uh, we'll get right into it here by clicking on settings. The first thing I want to say though is a lot of people have issues with a black screen while recording or streaming. I made a video to help people with that. I left a link in the description so go ahead and watch that if that's a problem you're having after we go through this. So first, on general, there's nothing you're going to want to change there. That's pretty much good. Um, we'll look at streaming afterwards, but if you go to output and you click on recording, what you want to do is probably record in the format of MP4 as it's the most universal format that can be used pretty much anywhere. Uh, use the 264 encoder and choose to rescale your output to 1920 by 1080 and also in your custom buster settings enter CFR equals 15 and that will help with lag spikes if you're recording and you have like a couple laggy spots, enter that and it will probably help that problem. Um, if you have a smooth recording though without entering that, then you don't really need it. For your rate control, choose CBR. And 2500 is a pretty low bit rate for computers that aren't as good, that don't have as good of a graphics card. Um, for like a normally good graphics card, your average one, uh, 5000 is probably good. However, if you have a high-end graphics card, you could go up to 10,000, 15,000, and that will give you a much smoother, uh, higher quality recording. Now, the one setting that makes probably the most difference is the CPU usage preset, and it comes default on very fast. Uh, that's good for my computer, but again, if your graphics card isn't recording smoothly, uh, turning it down to super fast will have the biggest impact on how smooth that records. Of course, turning it down to super fast might hurt the quality a little bit, but you will get a smooth recording. Messing around with all these settings uh, and just finding out which one works perfectly for your computer will allow you to get the best, smoothest recording that you're looking for. Exactly what I'm showing you here might not work. You might have to fool around with it a little bit, but using these settings, you're going to be able to figure it out. Now, if you have, again, a higher-end graphics card, you can go from very fast up to faster and fast, and that's going to give you a much higher quality recording. It might lag if your video card can't handle it. Again, for 264 options, enter CFR 15 if you're having lag spikes. Now, of course, go to audio and change your audio bitrate because it comes on 160, which is pretty low quality. Change it up to maybe 256. You can go even higher if you wanted to. Next, we'll go to video. This, again, is the next setting that makes the biggest difference when recording. So depending what I'm doing, if I'm gaming uh, and it's a intense game that's hard on my graphics card, I might record in 1280 by 720 um, at 60 frames per second because that's not as hard on the graphics card. If I'm doing desktop, I'll do 1920 by 1080. Uh, at 60 frames per second. Again, that's very hard on the graphics card to record, so you know not everybody might be able to do that. You might have to do 720 by 30 frames per second. Um, but you know, give it a try. Switch everything around and see what works for you. Recording in 60 frames per second at 1080 or 720 is pretty intensive on the graphics card. So if you want to record at 60 frames per second, I'd recommend doing 1280 by 720 at 60 frames per second going back to your output and maybe turning that from very fast to super fast seeing if you can get something that you like but I uh, just use that as a guideline and you will get smooth recording and streaming the last thing you want to change in advanced is your process priority it comes on normal you can change it to above normal or high which will of course obviously set OBS high in the processes so if you're playing a game and recording at the same time, OBS will take priority and will use most of your computer resources and in turn you will get a better recording. Uh, the downside from that though, and this is where you have to find the happy medium again, is that the game might start to lag. So above normal might work better for that. Using these settings that I showed you though, you guys will definitely be able to get smooth recording and streaming. Now there's not really much different to show you for streaming, it is pretty much the same as recording. Your stream key, this is where you want to enter your encoder key or your stream key that you get from Twitch or YouTube or whoever you may be streaming with. 
can choose your service here if it's YouTube that's your encoder key you enter that there and then you can turn on your stream and it will show up on your page for output for streaming streaming is a little bit harder to do on the graphics card again so from what I showed you in recording you might need to turn settings down a little bit so you might need to turn your bit rate if it's at 10,000 down to 5,000 if it's at 5,000 you might need to turn down to 2,500 um, everybody's computer is different so you gotta find what works for you but these are the main settings that will affect how OBS records and streams I hope this helps everybody out um, make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions and I will definitely try to help you out leave a like and even subscribe for more content thank you and have a great day